Alright, so today I'm going to show you all the different deck boxes that I use for my Magic the Gathering decks. Obviously, I think these are the best on the market right now. They are my favorite deck boxes. I use them for different reasons. Each of them have different features. So I'm going to go through them and tell you what I like and what I don't like about each of them. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Ultimate Guard Boulders. I use these only for commander decks and they're great for when you want to go pack a whole bunch of these decks in the smallest space possible because these are very compact and they do come in a variety of sizes and colors but I specifically use these clear ones, these transparent ones because I found that like the colored ones and the frosted ones they either tend to flake off or they start to get sticky after using them for a while. And the fact that I can see what's inside without having to open the box just makes it very convenient when I'm trying to find a particular deck. So these are fantastic because they are super compact, they're super small. I think this is probably the smallest footprint you can find for one of these hard plastic EDH deck boxes. And what I find really amazing is that the locking mechanism is really secure, but to open it, you just have to tilt it up and it opens, but it, it doesn't open if you shake it or if you drop it, it usually just stays shut. So it's very secure, but at the same time, easy to open. But there are a couple of things that I don't really like about this box. First is because of the size, it really just fits 100 cards and maybe some tokens and single sleeved decks only. And the second thing that I don't really like about this box is that when you're playing the game and you're sitting down and you open it and you want to leave the box open so that you still have access to like tokens and stuff inside, then it kind of takes up more space on the table because there's no way to fit it nicely such that it still remains compact when it's open. And of course, there are many similar deck boxes to this one. Uh, you have something like the Ultra Pro Satin Cube, which is bigger, it fits more cards inside, but at the same time, it's too big that it can't fit nicely into the Quiver Time, for example. And I also find that the Satin Cube is much more difficult to open, but the fact that they do have some colors that are kind of see-through means you can see inside, so that's a big plus point for me. Otherwise, there's also something like the Dragon Shield Nest, and I do think that the Dragon Shield Nests are the best designed boxes because they stay compact whether or not they are open or closed. Although the size itself is bigger than the, the boulder already, so it also will not fit into the quiver time. And of course, the fact that the Dragon Shield Nest is not transparent, you can't see what's inside, so that kind of makes it not as good for me. And then there's also the Game Genic Squire. There's a 100 plus and then there's an XL line as well if you need more space. And these are also fantastic because the flap is completely removable. It's magnetic and you can just clasp it onto the bottom and it just saves so much space when you're playing on the table. But same as the Dragon Shield, you can't see what's inside the deck. So if you have a bunch of these lined up on your cupboard, you just don't know which deck is which. I mean, for me personally, I just think having a transparent deck box or some way of just knowing what's inside at a glance without having to like write it down and like making any kind of permanent mark on it. I think it's very important for me especially and for people who just have a lot of different decks. Next up are what I call my single event deck boxes. So these are deck boxes that I bring when I'm going for an event like maybe a tournament or a draft or even pre-release. I like to bring this deck box which is the Dragon Shield Nest uh, 100 plus. And like I said earlier there's a 100 and a 100 plus so the 100 plus has a dice tray and both designs is basically just these two pieces. So you take it off and then you can just slot it underneath here and that's it. You have complete access to the cards inside, you have access to the drawer, the dice tray, everything is just super compact whether it's open or closed. And personally, I think this is just the most elegant deck box design ever. Like the only way this would be more perfect is if there were a way to kind of see what's inside and if the capacity was bigger because honestly the capacity for this box is quite small. Another interesting feature about this deck box is that it can actually fit triple sleeve cards. So it's wide enough such that a triple sleeve card can fit in, it's also tall enough. So yeah, if you're looking for a box that can fit triple sleeve cards, um, this one will just fit like a standard deck 60 cards with a sideboard and some tokens you could fit that triple sleeve in here. So of course there are similar boxes on the market as well. I think the closest competitor for me would be this Game Genic Watchtower 100 plus and I think the only difference is that this one just has more moving parts like this comes off just to access the dice tray 
and then this one comes off to access the deck and then you still can't really take out the deck until you take this part out so for me it's just a lot of a lot more steps a lot more moving pieces which takes up time and um, it's it's just more finicky than the dragon shield and even then if you're trying to play this on a table then you kind of have to put your deck somewhere I normally just end up putting it on top like this so that I still have access to any tokens that are inside. I mean, I still think this is a fantastic box. The build quality feels just as good or even better than the Dragon Shield ones. And it actually feels a bit more secure because there's like an additional kind of deck holder inside to keep the deck from falling out or from pushing against this uh, main cover here. And then of course, there's the Boulder and Tray from Ultimate Guard and the Ultra Pro Satin Tower which both feature very similar design the top here and then the dice tray below but same thing you know this one once you take it all apart it takes up so much space on the table and it's not very easy to access the dice underneath I always feel like when I take it out it's just gonna fly everywhere so not my favorite design moving on to double deck boxes these are deck boxes that can fit two decks and I use this for like shorter game sessions or when I just don't want to bring so many decks out. And for me, hands down, the best double deck box is the Game Genic Stronghold. I have the Stronghold 200 Plus and this is the 200 Plus XL. I've been using this one for years since it came out and this one um, at least a year. And basically, I keep my favorite decks in these. I really like them because they are super compact while still fitting so many cards inside. There's a dice tray, you can fit two decks, and it is super secure, the magnetic clasps. Just like the previous uh, game genic boxes I've showed you, the magnets just stay on and they just don't fall out. So yeah, these are amazing. I don't think there are any competitors out there that I know of or that I've tried. If you know something similar that you think is better, just please let me know in the comments. I would love to check it out. Of course, this would be better if I could see what's inside. Uh, but that's basically the only downside that I have for this double deck box. Finally, I also have deck boxes for triple sleeved EDH cards. And this is basically for my two CEDH decks that I have. And the best that I've found so far is the Dex Protection Creation Line Medium deck box. It has a very nice grippy texture outside and a very smooth velvet texture inside. And these have a magnetic flip opening and there's a dice compartment or an additional side compartment inside to the main compartment. So you can see here, it fits my 100 card triple sleeved EDH deck uh, very snugly. It, it, there's a bit of wiggle, wiggle room, but it just fits very nicely. The build quality is kind of, it feels kind of flimsy. Doesn't feel as high quality as the Dragon Shield or the Game Genic ones. And the magnetic flap is not as strong. So you can shake it open. You can see that, ooh, it opens up, yeah. It's not like you're gonna go around shaking the deck wherever you go. So if you just put this in a bag or you be a bit more careful with this one, it will hold your cards pretty securely. Yeah, it, it's fine, it's fine. It's not, it's not gonna easily come out. But another option, if you want a bigger deck box or an irregular size deck box or a custom deck box, is if you just go and 3D print them. So there are a ton of these on like Etsy shops and online. And I've also been working with a friend to try and print some prototypes. And this one in particular is one that can fit triple sleeved EDH deck and can also show me what's inside via these top loaders outside. And it opens like this and you slide it underneath. So it remains compact. All your cards are accessible when it's open. It basically ticks all my boxes for what I want in a deck box. So yeah, we're still working to try and make a better deck box. I think what's important for me is to make sure that it's compact when it's open or closed, to make sure that I can see what's inside without opening the box, and also to make sure that I can fit all my cards safely and securely. Uh, but yeah, that's it for my roundup for the best deck boxes of 2023 so far. I think there will be more interesting boxes coming out uh, this year, I've seen some new ones from Game Genic that I'm excited to try out. And if I've missed any of your favorite ones, please leave them in the comments below because I'm always trying to find out new deck boxes, testing them out, seeing if I like them, see what I like, see what I don't like about them. So yeah, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other things I should review. 
See you next time.